babies from the airport and yes, plural, babies. <laughs> Where to even begin? Well, first of all, I would like to introduce you guys to Mabel. My name is Mabel. It rhymes with table. It also rhymes with label. It also rhymes with schmabel. And Dipper. Hello, I'm Dipper Pines. My new Syrian hamsters. This journey started at the end of March of 2020 when I had joined Strong Brew Hamstery's waiting list. Strong Brew Hamstery is an ethical breeder located in Toronto who breeds Syrian hamsters for their health and temperament. Strong Brew Hamstery and I have known each other since around 2014, 2015, so we've known each other for quite a long time. When I joined the waitlist, I knew I was not going to be getting a hamster instantly and I definitely knew that it was going to take months of waiting and I was perfectly fine with that and that's actually why I had joined at the end of March 2020 because I knew it was going to be a pretty long process. So on February 23rd, 2021, Mabel was born. Mabel was supposed to fly home in April, but Toronto had just went into a pretty serious lockdown where essentially everything was closed, even the borders, you were not allowed to go across them, anything like that. Thankfully, Julie was able to keep her for however long we needed until she was able to come home. Unfortunately, at the beginning of May, Mabel had developed an inner ear infection, which Julie noticed right away, and she took her to the vet and she got medications, and the ear infection had cleared up by the end of June. But with ear infections and animals, they can often get a head tilt, and sometimes this will clear up with antibiotics. Mabel's didn't quite clear up, so she has this perpetually cute, confused look on her face all the time. You may notice her head is just ever so slightly tilted. This does not affect her in any way. So finally, Mabel was able to come home and the airlines were still not flying to my province. So Julie gave me multiple different options and one of them being the chance to have Mabel as well as another baby from one of her newer litters. This just required waiting a little bit longer. And of course, I took up this opportunity. And Dipper was born July 5th, 2021. So why did I choose a breeder? As a hamster lover, adopting has always been very rewarding. I love being able to give a hamster who didn't have the best start of life a completely new and improved better life where they can live off their days happy. But unfortunately, these hamsters tend to originate from places like rodent mills. This makes them much more prone to hereditary diseases and defects, which many are not physically noticeable. And when a death occurs, it can be very sudden and without a cause. This is obviously very tolling on a person, though this has taught me a lot about dealing with deaths. I'm very interested to see the differences between an ethically bred hamster and one who is not, and whether or not it will play a big factor in their lifespan. There have already been several big differences I've noticed, such as size. These hamsters have gotten a chance to have proper nutrition before they're even born. So compared to my past Syrian hamsters who have been very, very tiny, they are a lot larger. Temperament is another huge one because their parents were already used to humans 
and the parents who are bred typically have good temperaments, this can be passed down to the pups. So if you'll notice, both of the hamsters are already very comfortable around me. Mabel being more so because she did get to live with Julie for six months. But basically, neither of them need regular taming. They just need to bond with me personally. Now, of course, I am still going to continue to adopt in the future, but this is just something that I have literally been interested in since I met Strong Brew Hamstery. Hamsters can fly? This is something that if you would have asked me when I first started owning hamsters, I probably would have said, no, hamsters can't fly. But after learning the process and the experience Julie has with flying hamsters, I felt a lot more comfortable with the idea. The reason flying was made an option is because I do not personally live in Toronto or Ontario. And with living in Canada, our country is quite honestly huge. And in order to drive over there, it would have taken me over 20 hours to get there compared to a flight that would be condensed into a very short period of time. So in the end, flying would be much safer than driving. So in order for them to fly, they must be in an IATA approved crate. This is a very secure bin and despite its looks is ventilated and it even has filters to filter out any contagion. Inside of the bin, there are mesh baskets, which is filled to the brim with smelly, familiar bedding to each hamster so that they are able to make a nice nest and they're not sitting on any of the mesh. The inside of the bin was then filled with fresh, clean bedding so that the inside crates were not going to be shifting around. And then of course, they also were given a variety of food, snacks, as well as a nice chunk of cucumber. Originally, we booked the flight for August 23rd, but unfortunately it had to be canceled due to temperatures, as Air Canada will not fly any animals if the temp is too high. So then we rebooked for August 27th when the temps were going to be a lot cooler. I was there to pick them up right when they had landed at around 11, 10 a.m. and both of them had made some nice nests for their travels. Both have settled into their enclosures very nicely and have been burrowing like crazy. I had not expected Mabel to be so large, so I will be getting her some more larger accessories as some of them are not quite large enough for her, as well as I am going to be upgrading her wheel from the 11 inch to a 12 inch wheel. And if you're wondering why I went with the names Mabel and Dipper, this is because of the cartoon Gravity Falls, which I'm obsessed with and many of you may already know that, but I thought it was perfect because I already have Waddles, who also is named after the show and also due to how he walks with his giant balls. <laughs> So I think that is everything. I hope I explained everything well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask below and I will try my best to answer them. And I can't wait to show you guys more of the trio, Waddles, Mabel, and Dipper. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.